All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another West Ham vlog. Uh, West Ham Chelsea today, big one. Now, we have played Chelsea at London Stadium this season already. We did get the win. Did get the win. In this the EFL win. Cup. I wasn't there for it. Seb, you weren't there for it. No, I wasn't there, there for either. Just, just dad and Zorn, I think. Do you think we can do it again today in the league? Uh, I'm normally a bit of a realist, but for some reason I've got a good feeling about tonight. I do actually think we're going to get the result. I don't know why, I just do. I think mainly it's because I think there's another twist in the town in the title race. And I feel like tonight is the time we turn that. Yeah, I'd love it to happen for, obviously, for West Ham reasons, but also to make the title race more yeah. interesting. Yeah. Does that mean I think it's going to happen? Personally, I'm going to be slightly optimistic. I'm going to say we're going to get a draw, which won't hinder Chelsea too much, but will make it a bit harder for them. Yeah, yeah. But it would be a great result for us, really. But imagine if Chelsea lose tonight and then City win on Wednesday. Whole new, whole new landscape. Yeah, huge. Huge. We'll see what happens, obviously. It's a night time game. Um, no, going to be... Gonna be no Antonio banned. Andy Carroll coming back from injury. Yeah, I mean we're not at full strength. We're not too far off it. But Chelsea have been smashing it recently, yeah. so not gonna be easy. We're gonna go meet up with my dad and Saunders in a second. Let's see what happens. Go on, Fonte. Who's next? Who's next? Oh, it's gonna be Fletcher. Decent screen. Maswaku, how are you? And if you're wondering why I've got a backpack on me, me and Seb have been in town today doing a few errands, a few meetings, a little cheeky photo shoot for something, top secret. But also, we've just been to see our pal Daryl Selby play some squash in Canary Wall. Here's a clip. When you look at the rankings these days, they... Uh don't necessarily tell the story of how good uh, how good these players are. Two tie breaks and uh, close close second game was told the story really. Still be won the game. Well done, son. See you in the next round. Um, but now we're back in football mode for obviously West Ham versus Chelsea. Let's go. Two one West Ham. Boy, Team is out. Andy Carroll starts. Interesting. Snodgrass. Okay. Chelsea pretty much full strength. Completely Matic on the bench. Oh, are you still on the bench as well? Okay. Come on, West Ham, we can do this. Hello. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, West Ham. Let's do this. I'm forever blowing bubbles. Stevie, see me. I've looked everywhere. United, come on, boys. Let's do this. Big game. Number eight, Sheku Kiyate. Hey. Number nine, Andy Carroll. Hey. Come on, you all. Come on, boys. straight back in. That is the definition of a counter-attack. They've hit us 1-0 to Chelsea. We've actually been on top, had more of the ball. Looks more dangerous, but we've not made it count. They have, we're 1-0 down. Eden Hazard, it's always a goal. Okay, it's half time, and uh, we were actually looking all right until their goal. First 20 minutes or so, I'd say we had more possession, but Chelsea seemed quite happy with that. They were playing on the counter, which is interesting you know, for the top of the league coming to our place and playing on the counter, but since then, since their goal, they've had more of the ball, we've looked rattled, and when they do counter, they're so quick, all their players attack at the same time, it's very hard to deal with, because they're passing from on point. We're probably lucky to come out of that half, only 1-0 down, to be honest, we need to turn it around in the second half, we've got up at the ball in the back of the net, we only had one decent chance really, which is the Lanzini shot from outside the box, it went over, hopefully we can get something on the second half. Are we going to do it? I don't think we are, but well, I hope I'm not. Worst possible start to the second half. They've scored already. Some people not back in their seats yet. <laughs> Bloody hell. Diego Costa makes it 2-0, and now we're going to need three goals if we're going to win it, like Seb thought we were. Cheers, Seb. Two goals if we're going to draw it. It's going to be a hard guy. We can do it. We've had big comebacks before, but it's 
a big ask against the top of the league, isn't it? Man, we just had a couple of really good chances there. Should have scored. It's better, but we need to put it in the back of the net. Andre Ayew and Byram are coming on. I'm guessing he's going to go straight at right back, Byram. Oh, you may be up front with Andy Carroll. I hope he leaves Andy on though. We need Andy. Number 20, Andre Ayew. And number 22, Sam Byron. Come on, boys. Change the game. Come on, boys. We've got to get one soon if we're going to do this. Let's go, West Ham. Game seems to be sort of dying out now. I mean, there's no shame in losing to Chelsea like this, but it's not been a very enjoyable game to watch. Not very entertaining for the neutral. Probably less than five chances between both teams, to be honest. So yeah, a bit of a boring one. Yeah. You gotta get the train, don't you? Seb's leaving early, guys. I thought you were leaving. I thought you were leaving, bro. Get your bag. Take your bag to the toilet. Still three minutes, Seb. Seb, there's three minutes. Seb. Come on. Unbelievable. Plastic fan. What happened last time Seb left early? What happened? Did we win two one up and then drawing two all to us from? Seb is plastic. It's plastic, mate. Plastic fan. Comment below, Seb is a plastic fan. Come on! Yeah. Yeah. Might be too late, but we've got a goal. Seb's mystic and he's plastic. 2-1, Lanzini, lovely finish. Counter-attack, we've played them in their own game, mate. Come on, Lanzini, is there time? Sorry, is there time? There's always time. There is always time. In all seriousness, there isn't a lot of time. It is injury time. It's literally like one minute. If we do it, it'll be unbelievable. Crowd are going mental. Well, those of them that are still here anyway, a lot of people have left. Look at the empty seats. A lot of empty seats. Are they missing an amazing comeback? Come on. Oh, we're going to run out of time, boys. We've left it too late. At least we scored a goal against them. People left it too late. It's all over, guys. It's all over. 2 1. Saved a little bit of pride at the end, but we have lost. Gutted. Can I just say something that really bothers me about when we lose at this ground? They always play Foo Fighters and that makes me sad because I don't want to like, feel good about music playing and we just lost. We play something rubbish so I don't Is that like... actually true? They just every play Foo Fighters when we lose? Learn to fly every time on the dot. So maybe we need to learn to fly. <laughs> well, it's all over. Disappointing but 2-1, a little bit of pride in that. Could have been worse. There's no shame in losing to that Chelsea team like that because they are a very, very professional outfit and they're just doing teams like that quite regularly at the moment. There wasn't a lot of chances, but they just, they never really looked like they weren't gonna, once they went one new up, it just looked like they were gonna win. I don't know what you think, Sean, but didn't really feel at any point, apart from maybe the first 20 minutes like we were really in the game. It's, it's weird because we had a lot of possession, but we just, you know, like Chelsea were by far the better team as expected with a team like that. It's hard to, hard for them not to be against anyone in the league, really, isn't it? Well, those, those three centre backs, what they do is it just allows everyone else in the team, wing backs included, to counter and just run at you and overwhelm you. And they're very, very good at it. They're very, very good at that system. Which is amazing because it's not a system that Chelsea have been playing very long. Didn't even start the season with it. But they've done us there, Dad. What did you think of the game? I think we missed Antonio. Oh, of course. We these like, quality crosses. Top goal scorer, Antonio, Carroll, not there. Carroll ran around in the middle on his own. Wasn't getting the deliveries. He doesn't really perform until he's been uh, playing for a couple of games after his injuries. Yeah. So we've got to wait a little while for him to kick in, I think. Yeah. Well, we'll get back in the run of things. We've got some easier games hopefully coming up. Next home game's Leicester, although we won't be here for that because we'll be on the hashtag US tour, which will be uh, something to look forward to on the channel. But yeah, we need to pick up some points now. I know uh, we've got most of our players available for next game. There's no reason why we shouldn't. I want to see Andre Ayew back in you know, the goals. I want to see Andy Carroll back in the goals. I want to see Antonio back in the side once his suspension serves, which it should be now. So we'll see if we can improve, hopefully. But Chelsea looking good to win the league now. going to be hard for anyone to catch them. They haven't got very difficult fixtures left. I don't know, I think it's their title to lose for sure. Right, just got home now and uh, to conclude from today's action, we got beat. We didn't get beat like we did when we played Man City last time at home. They absolutely mugged us off. Chelsea game, on another day, could have gone our way. There wasn't a lot of chances, but Chelsea did a professional job on us. And uh, we, I mean, the golfing class between the two teams, just look at their bench. They had Willian, they had Matic, they had Batshuayi all on the bench. No disrespect to our boys, but they're not at that level. They're not at that level. And we didn't have our top goal scorer, Antonio. So it could have been different. To try and beat Chelsea twice at home in one season is a big ask. Obviously, we got them in the League Cup. We couldn't get them in the league. But we move on. I, I'm still confident West Ham will finish around mid-table. Hopefully top 10. Right now, we're in 11th. 
I'd love to get up to sort of ninth if possible. I think considering the start we had, that would be a decent achievement, really. Um, but obviously, we're way off the pace in terms of the big boys. We need some big signings in the summer. We need a right back. We can't be playing Kiate at right back. I love Kiate. When he's a centre mid, bombarding through the middle, or even a centre back, he looks class. At right back, he looks bang average. It shows you how important positions are. And uh, Sam Byron, Village doesn't buy into him. If we're going to make Byron work, we've got to give him a run in the team. So maybe see that to the end of the season. Give Byron a go. If not, it's just a flow in. There's no point in being there. He's not going to get game time. So we need to sort that out. That and up front. And we'll be looking better. We need to keep Carroll fit. You know, people need to be keeping fit. Oh, you had a big injury. A record signing. We've got to keep these guys fit. But we'll see what happens next time. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, drop a like on it, please. Subscribe if you're new. Joey's going to say bye-bye. Aren't you, Joey? And Alex is going to say... Don't go changing. She knows it. Bosh.